Hello everyone, I'm Ziad Khaitan, a product manager at Australian Biocommons, and I look after some of our bioinformatics services. In this presentation, I will be talking about the Australian Biocommons Leadership Share ABLES, which is a program that provides Australians, Australian life science researchers with access to compute infrastructure and specialized expertise. Before we dive into details, I want to highlight that Australian Biocommons support Australian life science communities by providing them with access to community scale digital infrastructure. This includes software and hardware platforms. We are nationally funded and all our services are available throughout Australia. Australian Biocommons engage with life science practitioners in broad themes or domain areas, plus direct engagement with research consortia and, and bio platforms uh, uh, framework initiatives and research facilities. Our understanding of needs now and the future come from our ongoing engagement with these domain communities. After we identify common, common priority needs across these communities, we work on finding solutions to overcome any challenge or mitigate their impact. For example, we found out that researchers from genome assembly community were struggling to secure compute resources to perform genome assembly analysis, which is known to be a compute intense uh, process. And this engagement was, was behind the establishment of ABLES program by the Australian Biocommons back in 21 to support such kind of projects. In simple words, ABLES provide several kinds of support for life science researchers. This includes access to compute allocations on tier one Australia compute facilities, and it also support wide variety of projects. The entire program of ABLES is fully subsidized for Australian researchers. ABLES provides access to compute resources to run analysis and store data. 60 million service units of compute capacity on the GADI supercomputer and NCI, and 10 million service units on Cetonix supercomputer at POSI are available each year. More than 1,500 terabytes of storage is also available to ABLES part participants. ABLES users, at NCI specifically, have access to a shared tools and workflow repository. And all the tools and resources on this repository can be utilized directly without the need, for example, to reinstall them. And this repository is a community-led effort and we encourage ABLES users to keep contributing their tools to this repository and make them available to everyone at NCI. ABLES team, NCI, and POSI help desk support, communi support ABLES community, starting from allocation management to tools and workflow development and deployment on, on the infrastructure, especially when there is a need from multiple communities for these resources. Here are some numbers to give you an overview of ABLES. As of today, there are, four, uh, there are 40 participating groups from more than 50 different Australian institutes. This including university, medical research institutes, and research organizations. And all these institutes are benefiting from ABLES support. And within these projects, we have more than 250 users. Some of them are only accessing the, our shared tools and workflow repository. The users have installed more than 190 common bioinformatics tools and made these tools available to all the researchers and users at NCI. We have more than 1,500 terabytes of storage and 6.5 million service units that are available each quarter for ABLES users. Here are some examples of the institutions that are utilizing ABLES resources. As you can see, the majority of the Australian institutes are listed here. When ABLES started, it was mainly supporting projects that aim to generate reference data assets, as that was the reason that motivated us to, to establish this program. However, with time, it supports extended to projects that involve production bioinformatics that might generate process data, publications, or just doing regular analysis at research institutes or organizations. The projects that aim to support sharing tools and workflows, such as new developments, scaling up these softwares 
optimization or deployment on different infrastructure and make these resources available to, to researchers are also supported. Here are more details on the support and resources available through ABLES for the three different kinds of projects. The service units provided by ABLES can be utilized to access HPC and the cloud infrastructure at both NCI and POSI. We provide temporary storage at the scratch system that's known to have high performance. And we also provide specialized support for all these projects. We provide long-term storage that lasts as long as the project is active and we provide different amount of service units depends on the project kind. Reference data generation and production bioinformatics are supported as long as ABLES program exists, while the software accelerator is usually supported to six to 12 months. As usual, these projects aim to generate specific item like a tool or scaling up a tool. For all these projects, the default resources can be increased when needed and if justified. ABLES has supported many projects, and here are a few examples of these projects. The Genomics for, for Australian Plants Initiative was supported to construct Australian and Geosperm Tree of Life, which is a phylogenetic tree of over 2,000 Australian plant, plant genera, and include the assembly of 33 plant reference genomes. ABLES supported the Australian Amphibian and Reptile Genomics Initiative, that's called OZARG, to develop a phylogenomic reconstruction next flow called Pipe Snake. And this workflow uh, was utilized on several data sets. As you see in the slide, there is a QR code which you can scan and will take you to the GitHub repository of this workflow that also includes the publication. There is a small data set for a quick testing, but feel free to take a look and maybe use the workflow if it suits you. ABLES is supporting the development and executions of computational workflows to identify changes in RNA sequences data from patient enrolled in zero, which is which will potentially alter their treatment under zero's precision medicine program. Ideally, ABLES participants contribute to the broader bioinformatics community by sharing data assets, such as reference or process data tools and workflows or knowledge that can facilitate other researchers' work. They have adequate technical experience to use HBC efficiently, efficiently and utilize the resources in an optimal way. They are also familiar with NCI and POSI infrastructure or happy to upskill themselves through the documentations available for both infrastructures and the training activities that are conducted by them as well. They are involved in supporting APLES and demonstrating its impact by attending meetings, sharing their stories, opinions, and feedback that helps to improve the program. The leaders of ABLES projects manage their project resources and memberships. Once the ABLES support team has helped setting up an ABLES project, the users are trusted to get on uh, with their work. Of course, we monitor projects to ensure the resources are used carefully and the best optimization is being applied. All ABLES users uh, have a count on NCI or POSI infrastructures, and therefore they need to adhere to the, to the policies of the infrastructure they use. Outcomes that are generated using ABLES support are expected to acknowledge ABLES as described on ABLES GitHub pages. If you are interested to participate in ABLES program, you can start by taking a look at ABLES web pages to familiarize yourself with the program we we'll also can find uh, a project proposal form that you can fill. We'll reach out to you, have a chat and understand your needs and different ways we can support you with. After that, we'll create a project for you and uh, we'll ask you to provide content for an online web page for your project on ABLES web pages. As I mentioned before, you can access all the support from NCI and POSI to access the training activities they do or just familiarize yourself with their documentation to understand their systems and facilitate your process in utilizing these resources. All the details I mentioned and more are available on ABLES web pages that you can access by, by scanning this QR code. In addition, on ABLES web pages, there is, there is a link for 
Apples participants, where you will access information about all the projects that are supported by Apples. You can always reach out to us in case you have any questions or you need more information. Thank you for listening to this video.